and uh, I'm Chris Maloney. I'm the Director of Business Development at VPI Photonics, where we provide photonic design automation and simulation software. And so we're, we're excited to announce today the release of VPI Toolkit Machine Learning Framework, which is a framework for the easy integration of machine learning algorithms into your simulations. Um, so just to start, um, the machine learning framework, it's a, it's, it's a way to automate statistical models using algorithms to make better predictions. So what we've implemented is this powerful framework into the software using open source uh, Python-based uh, deep neural networks. And this is an add-on to all of our products in the VPI Photonics design suite. Um, so just to give you get you started with the workflow, how does this actually work is you start with VPI design suite, you uh, simulate, you create a design for a component or a system. Um, so as you would in the typical software. And then we have an API where you can define your machine learning algorithm. And so we actually represent the data so you can store large um, sets of data using an HDF5 file format. Um, and then what we can do is take our machine learning algorithm, we generate data, we generate simulation data for it, and we actually use that data to train the machine learning algorithm. And so in the end, we end up with a machine learning model, and then we can use that integrated uh, machine learning model and algorithm back in your, your simulation again. Um, so, so as I mentioned, this fits into VPI Photonics Design Suite. So we do have tools at many different levels of abstraction from devices all the way to networks. Um, but this fits in, in in VPI Photonics Design Suite, which includes transmission design, so optical system, um, VPI transmission maker optical systems, as well as component design. Um, so if you're designing, let's say, a fiber amplifier, you can use it with VPI component maker uh, fiber optics. Or if you're designing a photonic integrated circuit, it can be used in VPI component maker photonic circuits. And really where we started with this is at the optical transmission system level. So I'll, I'll actually take you through an example of that um, today. Um, so, here, so yeah, here's the first example, um, just to give you an idea of how this works. Um, this is where we started uh, a deep neural network based uh, equalization for NRZ, non return to zero uh, optical transmission system. So, typically used in short reach applications. So, just to walk you through the schematic, we have a NRZ transmitter on the left side. So, we have a, a bit stream of ones and zeros. We have a laser that's being modulated. We have a MOX under modulator here. Um, that signal passes through uh, a fiber and it's received on the other side. And then there's some analog to digital conversion and we, we have some output. So the way that we works is we have the, these digital data extractors. So we have an input and an output. So on the input side, it's our bit stream of ones and zeros. So that's the ideal case, that's the ideal signal. And on the output, we have the signal after it passes through uh, MOX under modulator, the laser passes through the fiber, it's received on the other on the other side by some uh, PIN photodiode, um, and there's some analog to digital conversion done. So, so the the output uh, signal has been skewed. Um, so that's our input. That's our output. That's what we actually load into our deep neural network model algorithm. And we have uh, what we've done in the software is expose the hyperparameters, so we can specify the number of layers in in your deep neural network model, the number of neurons, um, the number of epochs that are used to converge on a model. And so we pass a large this large training data set into the uh, into the algorithm to define some model. And then what we use then we then use that model to do some equalization. Um, so you have ones and zeros on the input, and that same signal is probably not what you see on the output, um, but we can train this, this model to do equalization, and so you can see the, the output here. So you have uh, the original sequence in blue, the after passing through the deep neural network uh, equalization, you have your, uh, your bit stream in red. So you can see it's pretty close to the original signal. Um, so this, this doesn't have to be used just for direct detect systems, but it can also be expanded to coherent systems as well. Um, one more example, and this is, um, this is for those of you who have some device in the lab that you have a lot of experimental data for, but maybe you don't have a model generated for it. And so we'll take you through an example 
of looking at a, a specific component, in this case, uh, erbium doped fiber amplifier. So in the software, we actually have a pretty detailed physical model for this. So there's doped fiber models. Uh, there's two of them in this, uh, in this configuration. There's also um, two pump lasers used as well. Uh, but maybe you don't maybe you don't know anything about um, your device at this point. So in the in the schematic, you can see there's four channels, there's four lasers being multiplexed together. Um, that optical spectrum is actually used as our input in this case. Um, and then that signal passes through your your fiber amplifier, and then we have some some out some output. So we collect the inputs, we collect the outputs, we train our our deep neural network model. And what you can see here is the green lines actually show the simulated fiber amplifier model, and the blue lines show the model using the deep neural network model. So what, what you can imagine is instead of having this EDFA, maybe you have some device in the lab, you have tons of tr uh, data for that, and instead of having a, a physical model, you actually represent it as a deep neural network model. And then what you can do is in, in the simulation world, push that device to the extreme so you don't actually damage your device in the lab and explore um, um, different configurations with it. So it's pretty flexible um, framework that we have here. So there's a lot of different applications for this. I took you through two of them. Um, it could be used for fiber nonlinearity compensation, um, optimizing system parameters, or estimating quality of transmission. And so what we've done is we've made it easy for you to collect large data sets and store them um, and actually have access to these deep neural network hyperparameters. You don't have to actually code this in yourself. It's exposed in the software and it integrates seamlessly into our existing VPI design suite. Um, so yeah, feel free to reach out. Thank you for your attention. Um, we're happy to put on a free demo. I see a few of our users in the participants list. So if you wanna evaluate the software, feel free to reach out to me, my email's here. I guess one, one thing I'm interested from the audience is, are there any specific applications you'd like to see as well? Um, yeah, we're actively developing our application example library. So thanks for your attention.